New Wave Thinking Human Capital Development Consultants Presence SA Institute of Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Center SIFTV SA Institute of Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Center SIFTV Theory and Practical Training of South African Languages Courses for Foreign Nationals Wanting to Do Business with Local SA Township Traders SA Institute of Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Center SIFTV Objectives 1. Train both local township traders and foreign nationals how to formalize business relations in order to create a fair economic activity for local South African to trade and thrive without compromising the value chain. 2. Promote SA tourism as a preferred destination of choice by utilizing foreign nationals before they can qualify for visitation or citizenship and reward them 20 points for their efforts. 3. Engage unemployed youth of South Africa to the development of a township and formal traders' strategies to create jobs within a competitive unregulated foreign monopolistic local markets. 4. Invite and form partnership with local chamber of commerce across all provinces to provide training and inspection of legal businesses against illegal entities that promote crime and drug peddling in our society. 5. Identify and open a positive dialogue between local SA traders and foreign nationals in drawing parameters and rules of respect for local human rights to operate and compete fairly in the marketplace. 6. Force the South African government to regulate and protect the interest of local entrepreneurs and informal traders to get first priority as top beneficiaries in allocation of resources and opportunities of the mainstream economy of South African black participants. 7. To empower both local and foreign nationals with soft skills to interact easy with each other. 8. To implement the SIFT courses and lobby government to approve it as a prerequisite in accepting foreign nationals as asylum seekers or tourists with limited right in visiting South Africa as tourists. 9. Establish new rules how foreign nationals should be treated as guests and not residents in the process of distinguishing criminals from genuine business people. 10. Ask government to explain to the citizens how the agreement in Brix is benefiting local township residents, entrepreneurs, and informal trader to improve and benefit from these economies. SIFT Who are we? 1. SIFT is not a political organization or part of any political ideology or institution that promotes bureaucracy, complacency to limit people's potential and creative talents in problem solving. We are a proactive change mechanism that provides solutions to problems. 2. SIFV is an initiative of private black entrepreneurs with more than 28 years of experience in both ICT and human capital development. It has a high profile of clients in both government and the private sector institutions to improve skills and productivity in the workplace. 3. These are highly qualified business and community intelligent agents of change who are visionaries with the knowledge to impart problem-solving techniques in building a new breed of proactive small business pioneers. 4. To liberate SA human potential with a balanced view of economic activity to incorporate foreign nationals' participation with local traders, has become a matter of concern to address early symptoms of xenophobia and dissatisfaction of community unrest in poor service delivery the country is facing. 5. To minimize crime and identifying new creative inputs for job opportunities within the mainstream SA youths. We bring a new dynamic perspective and a paradigm shift to overcome complex and heterogeneous multifaceted societies' political and social problems. 6. SIFTV is a proactive organization that wants to take a lead in enforcing economic participation and job opportunities to first be given to local SA citizens before any other foreign national become beneficiaries. SA Institute of Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Center SIFTV Issued for a minimum of two years and renewable for only one year. After which the foreigner status is revoked to return to their country of origin. Where they'll sell South Africa's tourism industry before they can qualify for asylum status or acquire 20 points citizenship to become legitimate South African visitors or potential citizens. SA Institute of Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Center SIFTV To acquire the SIFTV Certificate of Temporary Stay in South Africa you need to pass two examinations. 1. Write and pass the SIFTV Language Theory Test 1A. 2. Write and pass the SIFTV Practical and Oral Test 2A.
Requirements for Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Type Phase Point 1 Language Theory Test 1. You must choose to learn two of the 11 South African languages with English as a secondary and any SA African language as the main first choice to be tested upon. 2. You must prepare and attend the two courses for minimum of six months before taking a test. 3. You must pass both tests with 75% each in order to receive a certificate of language comprehension. 4. If you fail and get below 74%, you wait for two weeks before you repeat each test until you pass. 5. When you do pass the test you will be issued with two-year temporary visitation permit and take part in the economy of South Africa. 6. Qualify for a local Chamber of Commerce membership in order to operate an informal business in the Black Townships. Requirements for Foreign Temporary Visitation Test Site Phase Point 2 Oral Practical Test 1. You attend a practical oral classroom language proficiency examination and communication authentication to pass with 85% in the two languages you have chosen from the theory test. 2. The practical test requires foreign students to speak and to communicate effectively and display verbal comprehension of the essay languages test. 3. If you fail to meet a minimum requirement of passing by 85%, you wait for four weeks before you repeat each verbal examination until you can pass. 4. When you do pass the test you will be issued with two-year temporary SIFT visitation certificate of temporary guest until it expires after two years. 5. Qualify for a local township chamber of commerce membership in order to operate an informal business in the black townships. 6. Register in the database of Foreign National Accountability Index in order to collaborate with local SA citizens to gain credibility and acceptance. Issued for a minimum of two years and renewable for only three years. 1. After which the foreigner's status is revoked to return to their own country of origin. 2. Where they'll sell South Africa's tourism industry before they can return to claim 20 points and qualify for asylum status. 3 or acquire 40 points to extend their citizenship to become South African extended visitors. 4. Then they will be required to cede and revoke their country's passport and citizenship before applying for permanent South African citizenship. 5. Foreign nationals should refrain from occupying any residency in SA without permission from the local authority or local community organizations. Types of SIFT test and examinations. 1. For foreign African nationals. SATVT.1. 2. For foreign European nationals. SATVT.2. 3. For foreign Asian and Russian nationals. SATVT.3. 4. For foreign South American nationals. SATVT.4. Violation of the SIFT law. Lawbreakers will face the full might of the South African law to promote safety, security to attract investments and viability of job creation drive. Justice will prevail in order to minimize crime the country is facing on a daily basis. Platforms to protect the rights and interest of local South African youth should become a priority for job opportunities. Foreign African nationals should take this very seriously by taking the examination and required tests. Tests are conducted and undertaken by accredited South African qualified private sector training companies to avoid corruption and nepotism in our efforts of new nation building. Without the necessary authenticated visitation certificates, defaulters will be imprisoned and deported or face foreign policy criminal charges. The new nation building drive is a positive endeavor to promote better human relations, so that foreigners can recognize and respect boundaries within which our constitution and cultural norms are based. Required skills to qualify for 20 points of sight for individuals. A foreign national must have or possess the following qualifications and certification with contactable references after taking a trade testing with a South African accredited institution. Two years farming experience to teach SA citizens farming skills. 3 years carpentry experience to teach SA citizens carpentry skills. 3 years motor mechanic experience to teach SA citizens motor mechanic skills. 3 years building and construction experience to teach SA citizens building skills.
Four years upholstery experience to teach SA citizens upholstery skills. Five years in retailing to teach SA citizens retailing skills to unemployed South Africans. Any foreign national who does not possess a credible qualification to share and transfer skills to our SA local communities must be seen as a potential criminal. Must be willing to work or join a South African unions and acquire membership if employed in the corporate private sector in South Africa. Qualifying 20 points will be credited to the foreign nationals by SARS Department of Labor and respective accredited CETA sector industries for authenticity. Union membership will conduct verification and confirmation in conjunction with respective local authorities and the Township Chamber of Commerces. Required skills to qualify for 20 points of SIFT for businesses. A foreign national must have or comply with the following requirements and prerequisites to participate in the South African economy to become a legitimate beneficiary should have the following. Foreign national businesses must operate a legal business entity that register with CIPRO or DTI. Foreign national businesses must register their business with SARS to operate any business. Two years farming experience and employ a minimum of three SA citizens. Produce proof of SARS as provisional taxpayer as a business. Three years carpentry experience and employ a minimum of four SA citizens. Three years motor mechanic experience employ a minimum of four SA citizens. Three years building and construction experience employ a minimum of five SA citizens. Four years upholstery experience employ a minimum of four SA citizens. Help South African unemployed citizens to transfer their skills to local people. The foreign national business must be willing to sign a South African Union agreement for to conduct business in any province to qualify for a special tax concession from SARS. Foreign national business in retailing employ a minimum of four SA citizens. Required registration documents, 20 points, enroll for the tests and examinations. 1. Foreign national ID or your country's passport 2 points credit. 2. Foreign national birth certificate 2 points credit. 3. Foreign national 3 months SA bank statement 2 points credit. 4. Foreign national 2 passport photos 2 points credit. 5. Foreign national residential physical address 3 points credit. 6. Foreign national personal contact information 3 points credit. 7. Foreign National SARS Tax Clearance Certificate 2 points credit. 8. Foreign National Proof of Residential Rental Contract 2 points credit. 9. Foreign National Police Affidavit to Authenticate All Above Items, 1 to 8, 2 points credit. 10. Any foreign national who cannot produce above required documents will receive assistance from SIFT in order to qualify for the course entry levels. Purpose and Impact of SIFT to SA Economy and Local Citizens 1. Create job opportunities for unemployed South African graduates to teach any of the 11 SA languages to foreign nationals. 2. To make foreign nationals legitimate visitors or authenticate genuine asylum seekers from criminal elements who exacerbate crime in the country. 3. To control informal foreign national traders' activity and accountability in the black township and municipalities while drive the economy in favor of local residents. 4. Account for who is who and what is currently taking place in the job creation for local citizens. 5. To improve skills transfer and pass responsibility to all participants to work together instead of working against each other. 6. To boost SA tourism by giving incentives to foreign nationals who want citizenship to market and promote South Africa in their own countries in a positive light. 7. Increase union membership against exploitation of SA multinational corporations from hiring foreign nationals to occupy jobs that were reserved for South African citizens. 8. Review the status and role of membership rights of foreign nationals in our local townships chamber of commerces. Nine. Formalize professional business operational standards required to conduct businesses with limited rights without dominating and taking economic control and monopoly of trade in our own neighborhood. 10. Find and close gaps in the informal business sectors where local unemployed citizens can be hired by foreign nationals. Workshop 1 for Local Township SMME Course Purpose 1. 
mobilize local township SMME businesses to carve a positive path in dealing with foreign nationals and local township informal traders. 2. To help local township businesses formalize and organize their community structures so that we can legitimize and classify foreign national against visitors, asylum seekers, and business operators. 3. Define the purpose of the SIFT course in assisting local traders and citizens reasons why we should have new rules and engage foreign nationals in our local township economies. 4. Formalize local township chamber of commerce to register local traders and SMMEs. 5. To provide training and business skills courses to improve both knowledge and economic activity for traders and unemployed youth to start their businesses. 6. Mobilize communities to support local business aggressive as we improve good customer service and competitiveness around local enterprises. Workshop 2 Sight of Courses for Foreign Nationals 1. Foreign nationals are invited to a separate workshop to attend the SIFT orientation preview regarding their new defined status and role as South African visitors as against legitimate citizens or correct perception about their role in our black communities. 2. Examinations requirements are explained to foreign nationals how they can qualify as either visitors or legitimate business owner in order to promote local employment to curb crime. 3. Teach foreign national to respect constitutional rights of South Africa citizens and to cooperate with local South African township and formal traders. 4. Ultimately find a middle-of-the-road solution between foreign nationals and local SA citizens to collaborate in local businesses' joint economic ventures for the benefit of both. 5. To promote accountability and responsibility for any negative actions committed by foreign nationals in their interactions with local traders and SA citizens. 6. Teach local citizens and informal traders to rid themselves of complacency in the process of nation-building to take proactive role in the local township economy. Partners of Site of Collaboration Township Chamber of Commerce Trade Unions Foreign Nationals SA Youth Forums Informal Traders Forum SARS Department of Labor CETA Sectors Department of Home Affairs CIPRO slash DTI Site of City of Johannesburg New Wave Thinking Site of Courses Target Groups Site of Workshop Number 1 Unemployed Youth Forum Foreign Nationals Trade Unions Site of Workshop Number 2 Small Business Traders Local Chamber of Commerce SARS Representative Site Workshop Number 3 City of Yoburg Mayor Department of Labor NAFCOC New Wave Thinking by SIFT is a brainchild of Citizens Personal Responsibility Initiative Against Complacency Video Training Courses To be part of our training implementation New Wave Thinking, WhatsApp 064-279-1921 you must register and attend any of the workshops below. SIFT consists of two workshops interventions designed to address the needs of respective groups. These courses are limited to 35 to 40 delegates per sessions book early to avoid disappointment. WhatsApp SIFT and use the following references for your inquiries. Reference 1A for Local Township Local SMME Strategy Workshop Number 1. Reference 2B for Site of Courses for Foreign Nationals Workshop Number 2. Thank you for listening and for watching this video. Please pass this message to as many people as you can to help us solve South Africa's xenophobia and unemployment challenges. Let us promote a healthy economic environment and positive participation for collaboration amongst all SA residents in working together for the sake of peace and goodwill to all citizens. Peace be with all. God bless South Africa and all people who are positive and proactive.